In financial news, the price of Bitcoin was bolted to a SpaceX rocket last week when it went from $19,500 to just over 26 k It appears the collapse of several banks throughout the United States fueled the world's longest-running cryptocurrency, sparking a buying frenzy that saw the price of BTC go up faster than your weekly grocery bill. More banks collapsing? This is Nemesis' surprise face. It seems that any time the US government says something, you can make a goddamn fortune betting against it. It didn't take long for Biden to weigh in on the carnage. Always the opportunist, he held a press conference to tell the US population that they wouldn't be bearing the brunt of bailing out the Silicon Valley Bank. Someone should really explain to this fella how money printing works. You would think it'd be a prerequisite to understand basic finance in order to run the world's most powerful economy. The CBI print came in last week with lower than expected numbers, showing everyone the government's faulty benchmarks are moving in a predictable manner. The CPI data shows the fake inflation rates are running at 6%, but in reality, it's likely somewhere in the lower double digits. Don't get it? Maybe that's because it's not a joke. USDC, the stablecoin issued by Circle, fell off its peg harder than Humpty Dumpty, dropping to a record-setting low of 90 cents. Way to raise the bar. Er, lower it, I guess. History doesn't repeat itself, but it sure often rhymes. The banking system getting a bailout is literally what Bitcoin was made for. And here we are again. The US government has been busy in 2023, attacking the average person for complaining about the full effects of inflation, attacking them with higher mortgage rates, higher gas prices, and interest rate hikes at speeds that would make Paul Volcker blush. More about Volcker coming this week. It's about time we hired a trucker to run the United States instead of these rich old white hairs who, for some crazy reason, need to give everyone's hair the presidential sniff check. At least then, we know our packages will arrive on time.